Hello students, I hope you are hard at work on exam number four this weekend or even better yet that you've completed it uh, and that you're done with it and that you've started working on your chapter nine assignments in Connect. Speaking of assignments, we have a couple extra things outside of Connect that I wanted to talk to you about uh, and get you started on. Um, where should I begin? The first one that I'm going to begin with is in My Southwest. Okay, you're familiar with the My Southwest system? You log into that and the first thing that you're going to see is this quick launch bar. When you go into the quick launch bar, and, and mine looks, my icons are different than yours and that's okay, I want you to look for an icon that looks like this, S-E-T. When you click on it, you're going to see a screen, and, and unfortunately I cannot show it to you because it looks different for me, but I'm going to show you um, something that a student is, uh, is helping me to demonstrate. This is what the page is going to look like, okay? Now, for all the courses for which you are enrolled, you will see them listed here. Uh, you'll click on, for example, our course number and you'll complete the 20 question evaluation. Uh, you'll, uh, the questions include, you know, ranking me as well as the book and uh, the uh, online facilities on a scale of one to five, but most importantly, it allows for comments and the comments are very useful for me. After, uh, you know, I, I use those. I actually uh, modify my course based on uh, some of the feedback that I get from students. Based on that, um, or after you click Submit, and you only get to do this one time, it will say, and see how it says here, uh, maybe I can make this a little bit bigger, it will say, yes, you know, evaluation taken, yes, thank you. Now, you cannot stop there. To earn the extra credit points, you must continue on and see how this says no right now, and you must complete the evaluation for each one of the courses that you're enrolled in. If you're enrolled in five classes, complete the evaluation for all five classes. If you're enrolled in two, then do it for two. Okay, so for all the classes that you're enrolled, complete this evaluation. Now, you notice that I am looking at what the student was looking at on her screen, okay? How did she send this to me? She did what's called a screenshot or a, a screen capture. If you've never done that before, then let me come back over here and let me go into pause. And in the Dropbox area, this is where I give you the instructions about that extra credit. So I'm going to scroll on down. You'll see your grades are posted uh, for these assignments. And this is your very, very last extra credit assignment. And when I click on that, Eval Successful Completion page is what that's called. I'm going to tell you how the course is set up, why I designed it the way that I did. Um, I remind you that you must complete the evaluation for all your courses. And if you don't know how to do a screenshot, okay, or a screen capture, then notice here that I have a YouTube video that will explain how to do that. And so you can follow those instructions. Once you capture the screen, just like this student did, you paste it into, this is a Word document, and you paste it into the Word document, and then you submit it into um, the uh, Dropbox. Now remember, I want you to do it for all your courses, okay? Um, so that is the SET, and that's how you can earn bonus points. Okay, now keep that in mind and I'm going to talk about uh, one other, two other things actually. If you log into Connect today, you are going to see a brand new quiz at the top. You will not earn points for this. This is a practice quiz to help you prepare for a required SLO or Student Learning Objective quiz. The student learning objective quiz is required for all business classes and I will uh, give you more information about it towards the end of this month, April. Um, I might have to go into an, another video segment to discuss it a little bit further, but the SLO quiz is also going to be given through My Southwest. You'll see an icon. See how this one says SLO? It's in the same area as SET but this one is required SLO. Okay, 
So what is the SLO exam? Because you'll come into this screen and you'll click it closer to the end of the semester and you'll take a 15 question multiple choice quiz. Now, what it covers, this is the syllabus for our class and these are the course objectives and the 15 questions address these objectives. We've actually cut this back a little bit. Uh, it will only ad address the first five objectives. I'm going to ask you three multiple choice questions on each one of these first five objectives. Okay? You only have one attempt at it. Uh, it will be password protected and I will give you more information before the last week of classes which is when this quiz will be available to you. One thing I want to mention to you, I made a little mistake and you may have already seen this if I go to the schedule. Oops, wrong one. Let me go to the online folks. And I note that uh, the SLO exam is required, which it is, um, and I say that we'll take this uh, in a class classroom setting. Since you are an online section, you will not be required to come in and take the, uh, the test that day. You will be allowed uh, to take it online without uh, coming in. It is password protected, as I say, and it is required. Um, so I'll give you more information about this. Uh, it will be open the last week of classes, and I would like that completed. Um, it, and it must be completed no sooner than the official last day of class. So um, I think I will show that due as, um, I think this is our official last day of class, May the 2nd, Tuesday, May the 2nd. Okay, so if you'll put that on your calendar, and again, I'll give you more information about the real test. For now, what's important is that you practice for the SLO test by taking this practice test in Connect. Now, here's some details about the practice test. It has a password on it. The password is practice, right? It's 20 questions, although I should tell you that many of this pool of 20 questions that you will uh, encounter uh, are also some of the real uh, quiz questions. I do not grade the practice quiz. It is simply there for you to study and prepare. You have unlimited attempts. Uh, you will not be able to print those questions. Uh, they will be scrambled. Uh, it, will, it might appear that you get a grade at the end of it. I have given each question one point because I can't give a zero point assignment. Uh, but again, I do not grade this. Uh, when you hit submit on this, uh, you'll get a score, let's say like 19 out of 20, but you will not be told which questions you answered correctly or did not answer uh, correctly. Again, that's to encourage you to spend time with the material to go through your book uh, and it will increase your understanding, which is my goal. I know that that might be frustrating for you, but that is my goal. Um, so, uh, so those are two uh, things to know about. One is, the, let me just kind of go back, the SET, which is available to you now, complete this for all of your classes, submit the screenshot into our Dropbox and pause and earn uh, bonus points for that. You can begin practicing for the SLO as soon as now and um, I will give you more information uh, later on about how to take the SLO test but I do want you to know you do not have to come to campus for that. So thank you very much and we'll be talking more online. Get started on chapter 9 if you haven't already completed exam number 4. Um, Time is ticking away. You need to get on that. Uh, thanks.